Did you know that you can embed your peer data patch into Daisy? Let's learn how to set it up. Hi, this is Takumi from Electrosmith. And in this video, we'll set up PD to Daisy so that we can embed a pure data patch. By the end of this video, we'll be able to make our Daisy blink using this tool. Let's get started. First thing we'll need is Daisy, which is an embedded platform for music. We also need a USB cable and a computer. Please click on the first link in the description below to follow along. Make sure that you have Pure Data installed on your computer. Our first major task is to install the toolchain, which is the set of tools used to bridge Daisy to a firmware. This includes the building, flashing, and debugging firmware on the Daisy. Essential tools for your next audio project. Okay, click on the operating system of your choice here. I'll start with Mac real quick. Let's download the installer and just follow the installation wizard prompt. And it'll be the same process for Windows as shown. For Linux users, please follow this portion of our previous video and come back after watching it. Okay, let's move on to the next step. Let's download PD to Daisy by clicking on the link with an OS of your choice. PD to Daisy is a tool that can convert almost any pure data patch into a native code that can be flashed into Daisy. So we say almost because there are objects that are unsupported by HVCC. And I'll include a link to the list in the description. PD to Daisy comes zipped up in the folder. So in order to run it, simply extract the contents, move it to where you want them, and open the program titled PD to Daisy GUI right here in the data folder. Now, if you're using a Mac, this may happen. So the workaround is to select Allow Applications Downloaded From Anywhere here. But in recent Mac OS, this option was disabled. So here's how to enable it again. First, reopen Terminal. Then run this line. Now open up System Settings and go to Privacy and Security. Then select Anywhere on Allow Applications Downloaded From. Okay, let's open the PD to Daisy GUI program again, and it should work now. Cool. And we highly recommend that you switch back to App Store and identify the developers in security once you have PD to Daisy GUI opened up. Now we're ready to embed a program into Daisy using PD to Daisy. For today, we want to make Daisy's onboard LED blink. So we prepared you a pure data patch and a custom JSON file that you can download from the link in the description below. After downloading, move them anywhere you want to. And we'll learn more about JSON files when we start doing custom hardware configuration such as mapping a potentiometer data to a synth parameter. Let's have a quick look at this pure data patch. It's automatically toggling between on and off and sending that data to this send LED object, which is mapped to the onboard LED in the physical world. Okay, let's go back to PD to Daisy GUI. Let's select blink.pd by clicking on browse here. And then select custom in the board dropdown menu because we're using a custom JSON file for configuring the onboard LED. Now we can browse and select blink.json. Cool. It's worth clarifying that even if you're using Daisy Pod, for example, please select custom for this video because we are using a custom JSON file. For most applications, select the DAISY board of your choice and it will automatically select the JSON file configured for that particular board. Okay, let's connect DAISY to the computer via USB cable. In order to flash a program, we need to put DAISY into bootloader mode beforehand. So press and hold this boot button, press and hold the reset button, let go of reset, and finally let go of boot. Now in PD to DAISY GUI, we can click on Flash Program right here to compile and embed the program into DAISY. And DAISY's onboard LED should start blinking. Awesome, success! If you encounter an issue, don't be discouraged. Please double check that you're not using a power-only USB cable. DAISY requires a USB cable that can transfer data. And for Windows users, you may need to reset your USB driver using Zadig which you can learn more about in our previous video or in the wiki.
And there's a link in the description to our troubleshooting page. We should also mention Plug Data, which is an amazing open source visual programming environment that's based on pure data. What's cool about it especially is that you can edit a pure data patch and flash it into Daisy all within this application. There are missing features such as digital out, but it should be fully integrated very soon. And features such as audio out and sensor input are already there. So if you want to get a head start, please go to plugdata.org and download the app. There's the compile option here, and it should be very familiar to what you saw in PD to Daisy GUI. By the way, they also have Discord. Now that we can flash a program into Daisy using pure data, what's next? Well, we are using Daisy after all, so let's get some sound happening. Simply start flashing a pure data patch that you made. I'll go into more detail in the future, but if you're using Daisy Seed, here's how to connect an audio jack. We can also find examples in PD to Daisy GUI by going to Files and Examples. Selecting any of these will open a project with the pure data file location and options pre-configured for the target board. Here's a Daisy pod example in action. I would like to remind you that we do have a forum and Discord. Please feel free to share what you're working on and ask questions. I'll see you there. As always, please do comment below what kind of videos you would like to see. I always take requests. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.